السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اهلا بطلاب الفرقه الاولى للمجمع التكنولوجي المتكامل بالاميريه معاكم اسم مريم وان شاء الله هنبتدي ان احنا نغطي الجنرال انجلش والتكنيكال انجلش من خلال الفيديوهات اللي هتنزل لكم كل اسبوع I hope you are doing very well and let's talk about our curriculum so first let me remind you of what we have covered the last weeks so we took unit 9 Uh, in year one and now we are covering unit 10 which is talking about sports most of it was finished and the rest are the last two pages of the unit unit uh, page 68 and page 69 so let's start So let's start up with a lessening task. We have here three people talking about their abilities and their talents. We have Craig, Julie, and Rob. And they are talking about their talents. So now I am going to play the audio. I need you to listen carefully to the audio and check the right answer. Let's play it. Page 68, exercise 9. Listening. I can do that. Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Check the things they can do well. 1. Craig. I don't really like sports, but I like to swim. I can swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well, but I can't sing. 2. Julie I can cook well. I love to cook for my friends and family. And I love to take photos on weekends with my camera. I think I can do that really well, too. 3. Rob Well, I'm an architect, so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a computer, so I can use computers really well, too. Oh, I can paint, too, but I don't paint for my job. It's just a hobby. So after listening to the audio, if you felt that you need to listen again, Don't hesitate to uh, replay it once more until you heard all the scenarios. So after listening and after checking, these are the right answers of the listening. And now let's go to the next slide. So in this slide, we have a group of words and we have what we call a word map. And you are requested to put the words on the left in the spaces that you can see here. So let's read the words together. Bake a cake. So in this slide, I'll start by asking you, what do you think this sign is for? What do you th So here we have four images of the page. We have here four So this part is related to the reading part. We are going to know more about the different or the hard words that you can find in the reading part. So these are six words and I need to find the right definition for them. But first I need to, uh, to read the, the words with you. So first I have sneak peek, athlete, Gymnast, workout, stressed, 
good luck charms. I will repeat it again, but I need you to repeat with me every word. So, sneak peek, athlete, gymnast, workout, stressed, good luck charms. The definitions that's on the other group are a person who is good at gymnastics, exercise, an item that brings good luck, quick look, a person who is good at sports, nervous. Now I need you to give yourself time to choose carefully and then move to the next slide. So after giving yourself time to choose the right definition, let's know if our answers are correct. So sneak peek means sneak peek means quick look. Athlete we mentioned before that athlete means a person who is good at sports. Gymnast. We also have mentioned that gymnast is a person who is good at gymnastics. Work out. That's a verb. Work out means exercise. Stressed. If you are stressed, it means you are Nervous. Good luck charms. Good luck charms. It's an item that brings good luck. Uh, before uh, we are going to read the paragraph, let's know or let's guess the answers or let's get the word of these three pictures. We have the first one, something we can use to cover ourselves in winter or in cold weather. And it's called blanket. Second one, you know it and you have eaten it before, I think. And it's called corn on the cob. And the last picture is for a fruit, it's called peach. So blanket corn on the cob and peach. So now we are ready to read the last part. So let's move to the next slide. Here is the reading part of your unit. Uh, unit. And it's talking about a gold medal winning Olympic gymnast who has won a golden medal. Her name is Sean Johnson and this is an interview with her. So I need you guys to try to read the paragraphs or the interview alone without any help of anyone. Pause the video and then read it and then play the video again to listen to an audio for the reading and read it while you are listening. So I trust you guys to do that. Pause it, play the video again, and listen to the audio. So, I will imagine that you have paused the video and ha you have read the reading all alone by yourself. So, let's now listen to the audio while reading the paragraphs. Page 69, exercise 12, reading. An interview with Sean Johnson. Get a sneak peek inside the life of this U.S. gold medal winning Olympic gymnast. Where are you from? Des Moines, Iowa. I live there now. Who do you train with? A lot of people think I have a private coach, but I train with 13 other girls at the gym. How often do you practice? Most athletes train about 45 hours a week. My parents want me to have a normal life. I train
train about 25 hours a week. I usually work out four hours a day during the week and five to six hours on Saturdays. I don't practice on Sundays. What do you eat to stay healthy? I have to watch my diet to be a healthy gymnast, but I don't get stressed about it. What are your favorite foods? Chicken and steak kebabs, peaches and cream, and corn on the cob. What do you do when you're not training? I love to ride horses and spend time with my friends. What do you do for good luck? I always travel with my blankets, but I don't believe in good luck charms. Who are your biggest fans? My mom, dad, and of course my coach. So, this is the reading. We finished the audio. So let's move to the next slide. This is an exercise about the reading that we have just read. Uh, give yourself time to uh, finish it all alone and answering all the questions all alone. And then uh, I will go, I'm going to read them right away to check if our answers are correct or wrong. So according to the interview, who does Sean train with? Her coach or other gymnast? Two, how often does she practice? 25 hours a week or 45 hours a week? Three, how much does she train on Saturdays? Four hours or five to six hours? What does she like to do in her free time? Eat in restaurants, read horses and be with friends. Five, what does she travel with? A good luck charm or her blankets? Uh, give yourself first time to answer and try to go to know the answer by yourself by thinking and These are the answers of the last exercise. I Hope you guys uh, understood every uh, part of the slides uh, Thank you for watching inshallah. I'll see you next uh, week to continue our videos in the general English and we are going to begin unit 11. See you guys. I hope you the best. Goodbye.